In tonight's Dollars and Cents, we're talking FIRE. It means financial independence, retire early. It's a growing movement that's flipping traditional ideas of work and retirement on their head. I talk with a local financial coach about how FIRE can work for you. Just talking about it has me feeling excited because I think a lot of times with, with money and finances, we feel that it's controlling us rather than us controlling it. That's what FIRE is all about, controlling your spending now to have more to enjoy later. FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early, like really early. Imagine retiring at 45, even 35, instead of 65. Folks who really throw everything that they have at this FIRE goal, at the Financial Independence Retire Early goal, they're usually living very simply. Sacramento-based financial coach Maureen Paley says FIRE is a commitment that's not always easy, but can be worth the effort. Maybe they're not vacationing once or twice a year. Maybe they're not buying a new car every five years. So there's certain decisions that folks in this community will make so that they keep as much of that disposable income that they have and put it towards investing wisely so that they can leave the workforce early and they can have that financial comfort in the future. Anyone can live the FIRE lifestyle and everyone's goals look different, but it all comes down to planning and using investment tools you might already have, like a 401k or index funds. Their disposable income, which is what's left over after their bills are paid, their housing's paid, so on and so forth, that money is put in the service of growing more money, usually through investments, so that they can get to that goal much quicker. The difference between being financially savvy and the FIRE approach is the level of aggressiveness. While most people put 10 to 20 percent of their paycheck in their 401k, FIRE people might put 50 to 70 percent. We live in a time of temptation when it sure comes to do. consumerism, yeah. and yeah. it sounds like living this fire lifestyle is going to take a lot of willpower. It sure will. Mm -hmm. It will. It will take a lot of willpower. But Paley says you can find motivation through the fire community, getting inspiration from other people also trying to live the fire lifestyle. When they see what's possible, and I think when they start seeing results after they start taking their first few steps towards that fire goal, they get really excited and really motivated. Fired up, as I like to say. Well, the sooner you start fire, the more time you'll have to build up your investments and ride out some market volatility. But there are still a lot of benefits if you put fire into practice even if you're older. So mm -hmm. still a lot of takeaways. That is good to know. I was just <laughs> going to ask, how does it look for folks maybe closer to retirement age? Yeah, if you're 55, for example, uh, taking a more conservative approach makes a lot of sense since you don't have much time to ride out that market volatility. Everyone should take a close look at their retirement and what that means for you. Ask yourself, where will you live when you retire? Where will your income come from? Remember, this conversation doesn't end here. If you are part of the FIRE community and trying to retire early or know someone who is, send me an email at lpainter at abc10.com. You can also see all my dollars and cents stories on our free ABC10 Plus streaming app. Find it under the news section. The app is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV.